Hey there's my fans, this is Lermy and I'm Clumsy and we're here to talk to you about the Volcanic Chaos Conquest map update coming in the 9.9 .9 Houses at War patch. In it, the map's gonna get a Polynesian twist to its environment. Yeah, exactly. To kick us off, let's head over to the duo lane where we've got a new beach over on the side of the map that's gonna include all of your sand, your surf, and your sun, and maybe even a couple <laughs> of crab friends if you look closely enough. Other than that though, if we head over to the Fire Giant, we've got a new visual update there as well, where the pit is actually going to look like the base of a volcano, so make sure you don't get burnt when you walk around. And if we go back to the Obelisk, something that we also changed on these Conquest refreshes, it's gonna be getting that Polynesian twist as well. But the gameplay mechanic is going to be the same this time, where if you go around the jungle and you collect the offerings, you can return those back to your obelisk and actually get the trebuchet that we have seen before, pushing down those lanes again. But the difference here is instead of those lost knights that were hiding in the mist before, it's going to be these weary jungle monsters that are hiding in there, still quite easy to kill. But when you do kill them, they drop a little crab friends that you can then return back to the obelisk instead. Exactly. And while we still do have the trebuchets, we are adding back an old friend being Indra Scepter. And how you're actually going to obtain Indra Scepter is by heading over to the duo lane. Previously, we had two Naga camps hanging out in the back of the Gold Fury pit, but now it's going to be one Naga pit. And that is going to be the monster that contained the Indra Scepter. Scepter. So if you kill it, you pick up the scepter and you're good to go. Yup, so with the return of the scepter, it is going to be reducing its potency. That alongside the trebuchet, we want to be very careful there with how much power we introduce back to the conquest map. But we also want to make sure that the jungle as a whole also gets a little bit of a change in its balance. Yes, exactly. So from your harpies to your back camps to all of the various buff monsters across the map, everybody's getting a little bit tougher, except for the red buff, who is already plenty tough. And finally, that culminates with the gold fury, who's actually going to be returning into the rotation of the other gold furies later into the game. And now when you kill it, you don't just get the golden XP reward, you get a new buff, kind of inspired by the old Draugr buff, where your team, after killing the gold fury, will then be able to return back to towers, where the towers themselves will be kind of increasing their power and defenses. Exactly. So for each gold fury, you kill, that buff will be stronger, but that's not to mention that for the number of allies that you have in your towers or phoenixes, that buff will also be stronger, so make sure that you're collecting all the gold fairies that you can to prevent people from sieging your towers. But that's it for the Volcanic Chaos Conquest map update. I'm Clumsy, this has been Lermy. We're excited to see you on the Battleground of the Gods.